Hey, I Mark, where's the oh, new dewatering oh, permit? Oh, I want to like to talk to you. Some information where's the new dewatering de plan? What's the new water plan? Do you have one for us as the public, concerned public? They have the same watering plan. No, they don't. The There's a new one. Plan? Craig Sapp told me yesterday they were making a new dewatering plan. Where is it? Unless he lied to He told us, us that we weren't going to get to see it. Where is it? You're the project manager. You're in charge of this. insurance officer, how are you going to ensure that we're going to be safe? I, I, we're testing the waters to make sure you're Is it going to be the same thing? I'm not going to talk to you. You're not going to talk to us? Wait, you're the public, you're the project manager, and you're not going to talk to us about this? We have questions. You're not going to answer this? Send me questions. I don't have time. I got to do some. You don't have time. You don't have time? Are you kidding me? We were sure it's paying for your time. You don't pay for your time. You don't pay for my time. What do you mean? Tax? Your tax dollars are paying for your time. Can you show us the new dewatering plan, Eddie? There is no new dewatering plan. Craig Sapp. Wait, wait, wait. No. There is no new dewatering plan. Say that again. I didn't get that. It's the same dewatering plan that was approved by the Coast Department. That's contrary. That's contrary to what Craig Sapp told me yesterday. It's fatally flawed. The contractors incorrectly. will not confirm really? whether or not they're using so union employees so that they're protected under the current state safety plan. They refuse to say, they say that it go back to the state parks and to the project proponents as you. Are the union employees going to be operating the bulldozer, the heavy equipment? I don't know the answer. You're you the project manager. State you told me before what we're going to do. This is how you handle this thing. When I asked you what you're going to do to protect the wave, you said you're going to take the trees and tie them into the lagoon, into the creek, to aim the creek into the right way. That's how you're going to handle stuff? Four trees, you were going to change the, the rate of the whole... trees installed into the landscape. No, you said that you're going to make sure that the creek goes in the right way by by planting, they, taking the cut down trees and putting them in and aiming the creek into the right way with four trees cut down out of the parking lot. That's what you said was going to fix no, the way. No, that's what you said. You said that. Can we go back to the dewatering plan? But what is the dewatering plan? Jim Thorson says there's a new one. Is he wrong? Uh, yes, it's not a new dewatering No, Craig Sapp told me yesterday a new dewatering so plan. He's your boss. A new dewatering plan. The dewatering plan is nobody is live. Okay, do you want to get, I'll plan. get Craig Sapp on the phone right now and have him come down here. Well, how is it going to work? To the public? It's, going, it's going to work the same way that is described in the thing. The difference is how is the contractor going to make it function on site? So the dewatering plan's the same, the treatment system's the same, the dewatering plan was always set up to account for different variables during the season. You have many different conditions that could take place at the lagoon, right? So it could be open, it could be closed, it could be a wet year, it could be a dry year. All of these things get prepared in advance. It was always designed that the contractor would submit its design of the, of the dewatering plan that follows our dewatering plan guidelines. When will the public ever see that? Once, our, once the designs of the contractor get approved by our engineers, so they have to go through our engineers, our water quality specialist, make sure it meets all the letters to the permit. Here's what I can tell you. Every drop of water that we pump that gets discharged onto the beach at the mean high tide line that's going to hit the ocean will go through our treatment system and be tested to make sure the water quality is good. That's How not been... How did that hit the sand that's embedded with MRSA? Yeah, I am our, a system, survivor, by our the way. Our system is going to be discharging at the mean high tide line. So the mean high tide line is exposed to wave action, whether we do anything or not. I did nothing. Yeah, but the MRSA you, that's in that sand, it's so. Uh, uh, excuse me, though. When, the, when wait, you. Let me finish what I'm talking about. Would, would, would be subject to the tide, right? Okay, so what happens when you go 11,000 11, gallons a minute onto the sand? How fast do you eat away the whole beach? And at what point then, how do you keep it at the mean high tide line? You expect that the sand is not going to get washed away to 11,000 gallons a minute? Well, they're putting some protection around the pipes, but I'm guessing there'll be some erosion around the sand. Have you seen the one that's just down the coast at 108 Colony Drive? There's a little bit of a... A little bit? The whole, it took away the whole beach. So what happened? How do you how do you protect? How do you expect that like that much water is going to not take away the whole beach, and and eat into wherever it's the, to say that? I'm sure there'll be some scour around I the site, but they're putting I'm some sure. protection around there. How to try about to minimize the creatures? He wants to be so like vague and un. And what, what what are you not 
Well, Craig no, Sapp no, told me. What's to all the creatures? You're basically saying trust I'm us. not sure. Trust and us. Well, if I'm not sure, I'm going to tell you I'm so, not sure. If I know the answer, I'll answer. Well, why are these concerns addressed to the public up front before all of this went down? Why don't you take as, as being citizens of Malibu well, and well, citizens what, of Well, what are the concerns that we're talking about? The, the dewatering. Yeah. Everything. What is going to happen to How the dewatering? So the dewatering have plan you has been... Said? Yeah, I've heard that. The monitor has a, yeah, has a so the MRSA someone is, that shares the lifestyle of surfing. I'm concerned about the children that have, that I bring out to the in the ocean. It's apparently the water's too dirty. So to MRSA is a, is a bacteria. No, no. The water would normally be connected. Because we're pumping water from areas that we know have septic influence and could have high fecal contamination, we're creating a special water treatment system that deals with it. It could be from birds, it could be from septic issues. So show it to us. Show, show us the special water treatment plan. Show Where is it? it? Show it. Well, that's not, it's not built yet, but the plan is... Show us the plan. Wait, you've got to have, you guys have had two decades to plan show this. Show us the plan. All right. <laughs> The plan is very similar to the plan that's in our dewatering plan. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. That's not what. We'll all get to see the plan. When? Afterwards? After no. you bulldoze? After, after you destroyed? No, Craig Sapp said he's changing it. Craig Sapp said yesterday they are changing the dewatering. They're evaluating the options that the contractors present. Right. It's all within the same dewatering No, it's not. No, it is not. Your it's opinion. It's the same That's dewatering plan, correct? You stated that it's the same <laughs> dewatering plan. Is that correct? It, yes. Is that correct? So then, therefore, the, that dewatering plan states, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. 11,000 gallons will be dumped out. 1,000 gallons per will minute. be treated. How do you account for the 10,000 gallons per minute that will be untreated and dumped? Well, that's not what it says, but it says what that does there's... It say? Please correct me. So there's various scenarios that the dewatering plan describes. It describes worst case scenario, closed condition, having to lower the entire lagoon. That's right? what it is right now. It's closed. Closed condition, but doesn't necessarily mean they're going to lower the entire front of the lagoon. They it's were supposed to. That was what they already it's told a scenario everybody. Scenario that suggested they in the changed plan. it. No, they didn't change. It. So that it could have been open. There could be more groundwater. There could be less groundwater. There could be more. Influence no, they can't. Those. They can't breach the lagoon. They'll be what fine. What are you going to actually do? The, the what are you going to do about the creatures? As a communication Somebody specialist, please answer that. what you're failing to recognize is that the way you've addressed at, or failed to address the concerns by really ad addressing them with facts, you've been kind of dancing around them and not really to giving us very concrete what answers as to what the, plan, the dewatering plan is. But you, you've been told that you've told us that it's got to be about scenarios and it depends on this it does depend we on need to have we should be allowed as people that really live here and frequent this beach right i've been here since i was in diapers okay. we should be allowed to know specifically what this plan so entails but, so why has the public not been disclosed that information plan is the same the treatment system no, the, the, it is not the, the plan is, is why has the plan not been fully disclosed to the, the public. The plan is fully disclosed. No, it isn't. Craig Sapp then told me that there is a new... I don't know. Craig Sapp, your boss? Is Craig Sapp your boss? No. Really? Yeah. Who's your boss? Who do you report to? I report to Shelly Luce. Yeah, Shelly Luce. Okay. Okay. And who does Shelly Luce answer to? Suzanne Good. No, Shelly Luce is... Okay, who's... What, the who's executive Su officer of the Santa Monica Bay Restoration. <laughs> and who right. does she answer to? She answers to the board of directors. And who, and where does board of so who's deciding what plan will be used specifically? What plan? Will Suzanne be used? Good has. Isn't who she the senior the scientist? Who green lights? We're going with this dewatering. Well, it has to get the who? actual specifics of how they're putting water the detail, into the, the treatment plan. Plans. So let me let me see if this helps you guys, right? Or this One person who green lights it. Who is that? Excuse me, man. So the. Hey, there's not one person that green lights. That's then it. name the people who will green light it. So, who will say, yes, this is the plan? Let me just explain. I want names. So, essentially, the treatment system has to meet certain specifications. Right? Those specifications are outlined in the dewatering plan. How they get water into that dewatering plan and how much water that's actually going to be is the only part that is being, is being submitted being negotiated, being submitted by the contractor. That will get approved by the project engineer. That'll get approved by the state parks engineers. 
and several, I'm not sure all the approvals that it goes through the state parks, but at least their project engineer goes and gets submitted to the coastal. <laughs> and so wait, if this is so transparent, how come we don't get to see it? And then everyone else can look at it too. That's Once I've got it, it's, and it's approved and certified. Oh. So the Coastal Commission is going to say yes or no to the new dewatering plan? The Coastal Commission's already said yes to the dewatering plan. But no, you don't plan. have, a you have a new plan. A new so plan. who Craig says, Sapp yeah, told me that, and he's that. Suzanne Good's boss. He told me that yesterday. Yes, They're making a the new plan. The are the ones who we will submit say yes. the plan to the, No, I did not. Who, give me the names of it who says this plan. It gets approved by the Lagoon. It gets approved by the Lagoon engineer. Who says we will go with this? Who says we will go with this plan? Who? A name. So the, well, the, the plan itself, Remember, I don't know the names. The You're the project manager. Yeah, Come on, man. Well, there's no, several no, different engineers. Dude, you've been, you say parks. you've been involved in this thing for 20 yeah, years. I don't know all the state parks engineers. They're the going to approve the project. The name of the person who There's not a person. Then the couple of people. Why is it? So okay. okay, hold on one second. You got Suzanne oh. Good is in charge of this. She's a senior She's a senior biologist, right? She says she's go with this. Okay, and her boss, her boss is Craig Sapp. Yes. Craig Sapp told me yesterday that they are changing the dewatering plan and that as soon as they have that figured out and approved, then we can see it. And I quote, he said it was because that plan was Because that was abandoned. Well, I, I can't speak for yeah. Craig. I can just tell you that the plan is not a new plan. It's just certifying how the engineer is going to move the water from the western channels of the lagoon. Right. Yeah, but see, so that that is what's being adjusted now. And so if, if you're if you're now, so will state parks. So if you're now, because the whole point was to lower the whole lagoon to drain the animals out of that lagoon. No, no, no. Oh, okay. So so you're going to so change the plan now again? No, we're not changing the plan. So. Anyways, it's how they're going to get the water there. As soon as that's available, you guys will be able to see it. But Are what is the acceptable? That's not very transparent, Mark. Yeah. What, what Mark, that's not a very transparent plan. I mean, because we've been sitting here being told over and over and over again how transparent this whole project has been. It's been in the works for 20 years and workshops and stakeholders and everybody involved. Right. And now at the 11th hour, you've abandoned this dewatering plan. I'm you have. That's the words of Craig words. Craig Saps. That's Craig Saps. Your, your boss, boss told me My that. Boss. I don't work for Craig, but you this don't. Is it's a, it's a, Who do you work for? He works for the Santa Monica Bay. Dude, it's it's State Bay. Parks he Project. He's it's, and Craig Sha Craig, Craig, I can't speak for I can't speak for Craig. Well, I'm I'm speaking for what he told me that they abandoned their dewatering and they're redoing a new dewatering plan. Not abandoning the dewatering. Then you would be starting today. No. No, and that's, like, then that's an issue. She has a question, and I, I have a know question. I want to know about the Santa Monica Bay Restoration Foundation. How come you're able to funnel money from the Santa Monica Bay Restoration Commission to a foundation which is considered private, and we're not seeing where our public funds are going? We want to know where the money is going. Now you... Between the commission and the foundation. All, everything... It's a racket. Is above board. It's a racket. It's not. Everything is above board not, and transparent. It's not transparent. Where, where does the money go? The you're saying it's transparent, but we're not going to get to see the final dewatering permit. That is the biggest flaw no, that no, everybody's... No. The final dewatering permit is done. Okay. It is not done. There's not. It's there's not no numbers. Done. There's no squip. Where's the squip numbers? I don't have it on me. Where where's the squip numbers? Send it to you. All right. Give me your email. Where are the squip numbers? You're Let supposed to have... You want me to write it down? You do not. You do, not, you do not. Everybody needs to call Sam Unger because you do not have the final dewatering signed off. That's not true. And so you're it's talking not true. about... I'm talking to... No. Let me, let me just help you. I talked to... So you don't need to help me. Which is a stormwater pollution it's prevention it's plan. Yeah. That is, has to do with BMPs and erosion control right. on the site. There are, final, there are final numbers on it. All of that's above board and legal. We can't start the project without it. Uh-huh. So why does Craig sure Sapp say you don't Craig Sapp says have you don't have it. Oh, we have it. Okay. But and nothing I will happen. I want a copy of it. Of the SWIP, you can get it online. At I the want a copy of the dewatering. We don't have the we don't the have the final dewatering plan. It's posted on the Malibu, RestoreMalibuLagoon.com website. And That's not the plan that you're going with. 
It is the plan we're going. You're going to dewater the whole lagoon to a three foot now level. That's only a scenario presented in the plan that the contractor can, can use. So, what is the, 